When I fell down, you picked me up. And now I'm standing on the mountain. I give you praise. Kwataba Kuri. There are three basic C's that you as a person should work with character, charisma, and consistency. If you only walk with those three, you are bound to make it in life. Hello Zimbabwe, welcome to yet another episode of Rock Bottom, a show that is designed to motivate, inspire, and change lives through one's life testimony. Today, I have a renowned actress with me on the show. She's a student pastor, and also she's studying BSI. I have Sarah Takawira with me. Hi Sarah, welcome to the show. Thank you. So Sarah, on today's show, uh, without wasting much of, 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 of the viewers' time, uh, I want you to take me through your journey. How do you balance the two? You're, 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 you're a student, you're studying BSI, you're a student pastor, at the same time you're an actress. Because I know and we, we, we all know, people have a certain branding, they brand you. If you tell them I'm an actress, they're like, okay, we know this type of people. So how, how, how are you balancing the two as a pastor also and also as a phenomenal actress? Well, I must say it's really difficult to balance the two, but I thank God that I'm, I'm doing my best to balance the two. And it's difficult for the world to accept could you're an actress at the same time you're a pastor. Because people, some other people, the way they see an actress, they see it in a different way, the way I understand me as an actress. But uh, me being a pastor is by calling. And being me being an actress, it's a talent that God has given me. All right, for, okay, fine. Today we'll try to explain. Probably there's someone who I got to see very much. Kakun kawa kuti aru chika kuti brand wa. Kuti people want to want to see brand kuti nagadai. So people want to see brand nagadai. If you're gifted in doing something, should should should, should religion uh, draw lines or should religion be my barriers? Uh, I personally I don't think so, because happiness is you. You do what you want to do with your life. If you have talent that you have, follow your talent. Do whatever that you feel is good for you. Because So in in personal, I do what I feel. I have a calling to be a pastor. That's what I'm doing, pastor. I have a talent to be an actress, and I'm doing acting. Okay, fine, Sarah. So take me through. I want you to 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 take me through your journey. The moments that you were lowest in your life, the moments you thought, you know what, there is no God anymore. The moments you probably thought you need to, to, to take your life. Take, take me through the gym. Yeah, yeah, there was a time in life when I almost gave up. Yeah, I remember in 2013 when I lost my father. That was the most difficult time of my life because I regretted a lot of things and I was so devastated. Um, my father died in 2013, um, 3 June, after a very long illness. But it was difficult for me because I didn't have time to go and see him, to visit him at the hospital. I didn't spend time with him. I didn't do what I was supposed to do for him as my father, as a parent. So after his death, I was really affected because I regretted so many things. Could maybe they never die, maybe they never went to hospital, maybe they never spend a time with him, maybe they never think a cut. I had plans, but I didn't manage to fulfill those uh, plans and promises. So it was a, 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 the darkest moment of my life, losing him as the pillar for strength at home, as my father, as my advisor, as my intercessor. Uh, I regretted, could he, maybe if I was there for him, maybe this what I saw. Of course, I believe as a Christian, it's God's time. But the things on the road, maybe if I was there for him, if I was there for my mother, if I was there for the family. But somehow I feel like I never get it. The time maybe I was supposed to go. In, in, in that grieving moment where, where you started taking the blame for things that you wish you had done for, 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 for your dad, how, how did that really drag you down in terms of your career, in terms of your profession, in terms of your, your personal life? Yeah, it did. It did. I, 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 I had so many questions to God. 
Yeah, the way my father died, yeah, it's a long story, but I, I, it affected me to an extent that I, I, I told myself that I felt, I have felt, because I couldn't be there for my family. I couldn't be there for my mother. And then there's also a time, along that time when I was mourning my father, I also engaged myself in an abusive relationship. And it really affected me because it was now coming from all angles where you meet someone, you think, uh, I've, I, now I've found comfort, then you, you, you realize that, oh, it's actually from fire to fire. So that was the, the, the darkest moment of my life where I told myself that I'm a loser, I have failed life. I, I, can't, I can't move on. And I, I then dropped acting. Yes, I dropped acting, I quit going to church for some time because I wanted to, I was broken. You didn't understand why, why, why is this happening? But I believe, like, like uh, the words say, God will never put you in a challenge that you cannot overcome. Yes. So you're saying, in that period, you lost your, your father. You're still grieving. Then you had a, you were involved in a relationship that, when you're in a relationship, you you expect your partner to be your your companion, exactly. someone who stand with you. Exactly. Then you happen to be abusive. How okay. how, how how was that experience? Uh, it was not a good experience, I must say. But I thank God that sometimes God puts you in a situation for a purpose and for a reason. And now I'm here strong, brave, and tell other women what I've been through and how I managed to go Buddha Bajir. But the experience was not good because you expect someone, you expect someone to love you, you expect someone to be there for you. You do your best to show love and express love but at the same time, you receive uh, the return yacho. It was not the way I expected it. So I was just abused verbally, abused emotionally, abused physically. And uh, that was the darkest moment of my life. All right. Uh, we will we, we'll pick up after this segment. Stay tuned, viewers. We'll be back after a short while. 